welcome to a brand new episode of the 360 Daily Show. I'm your host, Adese Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Young Philly currently facing rape and assault charges in Australia. Irish star performing with Coldplay in New York City. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori orchestrated rumors to create a buzz around his new album after overexploiting her racy outfits. And in our trending segment, Young Philly, a 29-year-old YouTuber, an internet personality whose real name is Andres Felipe Valencia Berentos has gained significant recognition as a content creator despite being relatively unknown to the wider public. After leaving school with four GCSEs and attempting a career as a broker, he turned to creating comedy skits online, which eventually led him to opportunities in TV presenting and music. However, his rising fame has been overshadowed by serious legal troubles. Currently facing rape and assault charges in Australia, young Philly is accused of assaulting a woman in a hotel room following a concert in Perth. Although he requested to remain anonymous in court, the judge denied this request. Now out on bail, he's required to stay in Australia and refrain from discussing the case online. Having only confirmed his identity and understanding of the charges during the court proceedings. A further hearing is scheduled for December. I mean, this is a very, very unfortunate and sad situation that, you know, this young man just found himself in because rape allegations, mm, they are very, very, very serious. So once you hear rape or, you know, domestic violence, things like that, especially affecting women, trust me, they are going to take that matter to the head. So I always advise, you know, my male friends, anything that would put you in that situation for any woman to come out and accuse you of that, just stay away from it completely because that could ruin your career. And, you know, seeing that he's a content creator, someone who is just, you know, starting because I've seen a couple of videos that he makes with his friends online. Um, it's not just a good thing because I mean, your career isn't even there yet. Like he hasn't really gotten his, you know, content to a wider audience. And now this, like, it's just, <laughs> it's too early. It's just too early. But then these are just speculations and allegations until he's proven guilty. So fingers crossed for young Philly. I mean, if he did it, he should, you know, do the time. If you do the crime, you do the time. But if he's innocent, I, you know, wish him luck and I hope that he leverages on this moment to, you know, build his career and, you know, make his fame well known. So, fingers crossed for young Philly. And on our Sporters segment, Arya Star was spotted on today's show delivering a captivating performance of Good Feelings alongside Coldplay in New York City. The collaboration was a thrilling highlight as the vibrant energy of Arya's unique style blended seamlessly with Coldplay's iconic sound. It was a moment that truly showcased the magic of live music and the incredible talent of both artists. I mean, when I tell you that Arya Star has gone international, I mean, I hardly even see her in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa these days. Baby Girl has gone international. And Coldplay is one, you know, artist that a lot of people in the international scene do not joke with. Have you seen the number of Coldplay fans that come out when they perform? Like any Coldplay concert, trust me, it is always packed and full you hardly even see any you know empty chairs or empty seats anywhere so Coldplay has like a stronghold in the international scene and seeing our baby girl our baby girl Arya Star collaborating with such a huge artist is actually is tremendous it's, it's a good thing to see and you know I really love how she's pushing herself you know um, I don't know who's behind her PR I don't know who's behind her marketing team all of that even her fashion team I think everything about Arya Star is just standing out in this period like she is really making waves this year I think this is an Arya Star year yeah permit me to say that this is her year she is just collaborated with one of the biggest artists in the world and now seeing her perform this live with Coldplay I mean I saw the videos and I mean that's a collaboration I never saw coming but it's a wonderful one and I'm happy to see that Arya Star is really doing well for herself and on our editorial segment, Kanye West and Bianca Centuri are reportedly at the center of divorce speculation, which some sources suggest may be a strategic move to generate buzz for Kanye's upcoming album. Recent reports indicated that the couple had secretly separated weeks prior 
with claims that Kanye was prepared to file for a divorce. However, just hours after these allegations surfaced, they were seen together in Japan raising questions about the authenticity of the split. Insiders believe that the rumors surrounding their nearly two-year marriage were intentionally crafted to enhance publicity for Kanye's new music. Following the announcement of his album Bully, which features the song Beauty and the Beast, this speculation aligns with his recent album releases, including Vultures 2 in August. The timing of these events suggests a calculated effort to keep the rapper in the spotlight as he promotes his latest work. I mean, there's nothing Kanye would not do. Kanye is like a master in this game. He has been there for years. He has been there for ages. So I trust him to come up with, you know, different things to push his songs or his album. But then using your wife constantly, I don't know. I just, I feel some sort of way about it. But I don't know. Could the divorce be true? Because a lot of people have said they haven't seen Kanye and Bianca, you know, go out or step out for months now. So that's why I think the divorce thing is in the air. But then I think the whole thing is not just making sense because there's a, um, an album coming out and then they've seen two of them together. But I mean, what if they're discussing business? <laughs> and on our new collection, Glenn Martins and Rihanna have teamed up to create a stunning joint collection with the launch of the first ever Savage and Fenty and Diesel collaboration. This collection features an array of lingerie and unisex undergarments that blend Fenty's body positive ethos with Diesel's iconic visual style. The debut collection showcases a variety of pieces, including dresses and sleepwear, highlighted by a striking promo video and a mood board that reflects Diesel's archival influences, such as distressed denim and contemporary leather looks. Among the standout items are bodysuits, stockings and corset slips with notable pieces like the Ferks Fade long sleeve top which features a washed out denim print and textured flocking alongside the distorted denim boxes. Fans can catch Rihanna modeling the diesel and Fenty pieces in the accompanying gallery and are encouraged to shop the full range at the Savage and Fenty official web store before it sells out. And on Spicy or Not, Beyonce showcased her signature glamour in new Instagram snaps from the 2024 Glamour Women of the Year Awards, where she offered fans a behind-the-scenes look at her night. The 43-year-old singer looked stunning in a figure-hugging lemon yellow top paired with a coordinating satin skirt, exuding confidence as she posed for the camera. To elevate her ensemble, Beyonce added a waist cinching belt and sheer yellow gloves complemented by stylish sunglasses. She finished off her look with silver drop earrings and styled her platinum blonde hair in elegant Marilyn Monroe inspired corals, capturing the essence of sophistication and fun. I mean, I saw the pictures on Instagram and I think Beyonce looked stunning. I think it was looking more like a knight. She was looking really beautiful and she had a style for it in her head and it was the Marilyn Monroe look. So I'm wondering how did that go bad? Maybe the wig wasn't sitting well because I think I saw some, you know, but I mean, she moved around now. The hair can't just sit in one place forever. So I think that's what, you know, a few people complain about. But for me, the total outlook was stunning. She was giving, you know, mommy vibes. She was giving queen vibes as always. I mean, Beyonce is a queen and she slays anytime she's out for an event. And I think I actually like this look. I totally love it on her. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye-bye.